Uh, hey guys, back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about why your beard is red. Now, I'm not talking about the redheads out there that have, you know, red hair and a red beard. I'm talking about people like myself who don't have red hair on their head, but do have red in their beard. Uh, I'm not really sure if you can really see, but I know there's blonde and stuff. There's blonde, red, brown, gray. I have a whole bunch of colors in my hair, but no, I wanted to like, I always wondered myself why, why is there red in someone's beard, but not on their head hair? So, you know, I did a little bit of digging and you know, when it comes down to it, it comes down to your genes, which, which I figured, but there's a couple things I found pretty neat. Uh, one thing was that, um, for a redhead example, they have two of these genes and which is I think called it's called like the MC1R gene I think and if you have two so if you have two of them you have red hair and red beard if you have one of those you can have red hair I guess in unexpected places so your beard being one of them um, now it can also skip like uh, generations and stuff like that so for example my mother has red hair so it kind of makes sense to me how I have part of the gene um, that gives me part of the, the red beard so um, yeah it explains a little bit for me but I know it, from reading it can skip generations and stuff like that so you know uh, it could be like your grandfather's cousin, like, you know what I mean? The gene just, they they finally paired up the right mutation and you get the red beard. So, I don't know, I just always found that really neat. Um, just, and I always wondered why, because, you know, for Movember and stuff, I'd grow my mustache and it'd be like red in it and stuff. So, I'd always be wondering like, yo, why, why this? Like, why is it, why is it? red when I don't have red hair but uh, I guess when you get down to science it uh, it makes sense um, now I know people can will dye the hair and stuff like that which isn't a huge huge issue for me because that's not so, something I'm into uh, I'm not really ashamed of it I think if you have a red beard just rock it like any other beard um, don't be ashamed of it and uh, you know keep it growing but no, I, I thought it was pretty neat how, um, just how it could skip generations. So like you just kind of never know when you're gonna get that right mutations to you know to get the red hair growing and stuff like that. But that's kind of like the non-scientific like breakdown of it all. Of course, you can get in all the, like the fancy words and all that if you want to and and whatnot. But uh, you know that's how you get red beard hair is pretty much instead of having the double mutation you have the one and it'll put red hair in other places in your hair head hair um, I believe too you can still even get some in your head hair but um, yeah just interesting right because um, there are a lot of guys with red beards uh, you know that don't have red hair so it's uh, I guess just good to get the information out there and again nothing to be ashamed of uh, yeah, I'm not ashamed of my hair, and uh, I'm going to keep it growing. But uh, anyways, guys, that's just a little bit about why you might have red beard hair and not red hair in your head. Cheers.